Well, the city of St. Joseph is looking at getting stricter on what goes out onto downtown city sidewalks. The issue is a hot topic as the summer tourist season draws near. WSBT's Denise Bone takes a closer look at the new proposed policy and what it means for local store owners. The city manager met with several merchants today to talk about reworking the downtown sidewalk policy. One of the biggest changes is going to be requiring store owners to apply for a permit to be able to put anything out on these sidewalks. Sandwich boards, tables, chairs, and clothing racks. These are just some of the items store owners in downtown St. Joe typically set out on the sidewalks. But the policy on what can and cannot go out is under review. Where we can is always going to be five feet. So City Manager Richard Lewis is outlining new specific sidewalk guidelines. The yellow zone indicated on this diagram is the space that must be kept clear and accessible for pedestrians and must meet ADA requirements. The red street zone is closest to the curb where the city currently has trash bins, planters and street lamps. The green user zone is the area next to the storefronts where merchants can put items as long as they get approval first. If a merchant wants to be able to put out a table or chairs, they've got to give us, they got to do a permit. It's a one-page permit, no charge. Under the changes, longtime downtown business Cafe Tosi would be required to put up a smaller door weather curtain. So we may have to cut that back. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, because we need a new one anyway. I think it's all good. But when things aren't so good, like this sandwich board in the middle of the sidewalk, Lewis says the city will have to respond. I was just going to do a three-strike rule. The first time I'll go in it, I'll politely say, okay, you know, please move it back. The second time, I'll be a little bit more stern. The third time, I'll just take the sign. And one thing not decided yet, if store owners will be allowed to display items for sale outside. I think you will see it come up again as a possibility for this summer, and I think those are things that are going to be worked out as these uh, policies are reviewed and um, updated. The amended policy also states that the city will not be required to pay for any damage to any of the things set out on the sidewalk or be held responsible for anyone injured by the stuff out on the sidewalks. Now, they'll discuss all this at the City Commission's next meeting on April 14th. Reporting from downtown St. Joe, Denise Bone, WSBT, Channel 22 News. Well, the new sidewalk policy will also require store owners to submit a copy of their liability insurance to the city and that it can be no less than $1 million per occurrence. And the policy also sets a specific time from April 1st to November 1st when items are allowed on the sidewalks. We are talking second round.